So, hi. Um, I want just to share with you a few ideas I have um, had recently when a friend of mine, Philip, uh, showed me his recording of the first movement of Mozart's sonata in A minor, 310, critical title, 310, quite well known. Uh, it was written in Paris in 1778 it's like and um, I was just uh, inspired to check on the um, third movement too the presto it's written presto and I don't know what Mozart as a person or character has been but if you look at the music I had some ideas which occurred to me also in other pieces and sonatas um, so that's what I want to share with you so if you look here at the um, first actually the first line only you see uh, maybe at the first moment you think a rather simple structure so there's this okay now there's more to it you see a bow here, a bow here, a bow here. You see this awkward appoggiatura stuff, four movements. And if you look closely to the left hand, you don't only see that there are actually two voices which sort of disappear here, or maybe it's um, coming together into one voice. It's lost here anyway, maybe, maybe not. So there's a, a strange structure between having the tone, tonica played and um, in a sort of instrumentalized octaves here you have doubles which is a sound question rather than um, voicing and you have here this inner voice is not slurred, maybe not legato, so it's rather... Now, is this a um, middle voice, is it the bass, which goes from the tonic to the seventh, the third? We don't really know, but maybe it's like bam, bam, dia. And now, it's staccato or non legato. Whereas in the right hand, you see actually questionable. So I stress the first notes on the, the bar always. Da, da, da. It's kind of an uh, appoggiatura like. you would have to do also the um, inner voice that way or is it where you have a fifth of the, the tonic fifth sounding in a legato style actually in the middle sorry about the tuning there was a pandemic so no tune available so it, it could be that the left hand is non legato and then you see again here the non note so what I want to say with this is even if one is quite a versatile virtuoso on the piano it's rather a lot going on here and it's questionable if you can really express it in a presto so that coincides or collides rather with the presto tempo. If you do all these things that here you have a nice legato appoggiatura like uh, characterization in four move four bars, the left hand and it disappears. Listen. The, 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 the inner voice kind of it's not very characteristic but light it could be no it's now you 
would have to do something like and presto is even faster I don't know um, After all, this is not only intricate or even complicated or dense and a lot is going on, it's also ner nervous, nervous, it's really nervous and like you have been drinking too much coffee or something, which have I have seen in other Mozart pieces, this very short structures combining legato, apertures, non legato and held notes which leads me to think that Mozart has been not only a quite clever and very gifted person, obviously, uh, regarding music, but also a very nervous guy. Thanks for sharing. <laughs>